Welcome back to the channel guys, Judo Sloth here. We've got so many notifications, the update is here and we all now have super troops. I'm sure you guys are hyped, but I put out a poll on YouTube yesterday about which super troop you would like me to unlock first, and it was an overwhelming vote for the super wall breakers. So we will be unlocking the super wall breaker today, we will be giving you a bit of an insight into the update, and if you want to be involved with any of the future polls here on YouTube in the community tab, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on my content. The wall breakers are unlocked at Town Hall 11. We have used them in some pretty epic attacks in the previous days, but I want to unlock the wall breakers first. However, let's go ahead and have a look at this. Let's explore the update a little bit before we get into the attack because the season has obviously reset. My trophies are well below Legend League, so we're going to have to be working back to that. I don't even have a shield right now, and what is going on with all of this? Oh my word! 30 days left, wreck havoc and get rewarded for victories. Now this is really cool, because when I first seen this, I thought... How am I supposed to do all of this? Remember, the super troops are only for seven days, but it makes sense. They are for 30. What about the shop? What do we have? Wow, we have the spring special. Now, that is not something I'm going to be purchasing on this account, but across on my Town Hall 11, we will be purchasing that. Probably even the start fresh as well. I'll be purchasing that across there. Would you like me to bring you some of my Town Hall 11 Let's Plays? I've been kind of farming that account. It was a rushed account. Some of you might remember when we brought you the rushed series. It was probably about a year ago, and we stopped doing it. However... Yeah, I'll probably buy all of these on there. What's this super bundle? What is this, guys? A super statue. Well, you know that I'm a sucker for anything like that, so I'm going to go ahead and purchase that. But I am going to make sure that in my settings, more settings... We've got content creator boost judo in there. If you are not supporting me before you make any purchases within the game, whether it be gems, any of the packs, the gold pass, be sure to enter code judo and you will be able to support me because a small amount of your purchase will come to me at no extra cost to you. So let's kick this thing off before I get the wall breakers powered up by purchasing the super bundle. Oh, that was quick. Literally popped up asking for the password. Quick video edit there, guys. Sorry, I'm not going to show you my password. But the special offer has been received. And I really just, uh, really just go for that. Now, where do I put this? If, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit funny with things. And I like to have my base well organized. So what I have done, I've taken the dragon statue that we got. I think this was for Town Hall 13, wasn't it? Then I have put all of my limited edition obstacles in the order that I got them. I am still rearranging that using the shovel of obstacles. And I guess... I guess this can come down to the bottom. The good thing about this is it's not a obstacle that I have to use the shovel of obstacles. I can move it around later. So let's just go ahead and put that thing there. The super statue. It looks pretty cool. Let me know if you have it. Let me know if you're purchasing it or you plan to. And let's go ahead and let's get into the first part of this episode. I think the super wall breakers. We got some dark elixir there. Now, many of you keep telling me to upgrade my barbarian king. I do want to be bringing you guys videos as a bit of a vlog, if you will, within Clash of Clans. I'll show you my progress. I'll be teaching you how things go. Always educational, always entertaining. That's what we do here on the channel. But once I have completed the season challenges, I get that book of heroes. I will be upgrading the king. It's probably going to be tomorrow because we've got to we've got to finish it off. I haven't quite finished it yet. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and let's get the super wall breaker busted. Now, I'm not going to try it out. You guys have seen that on my channel. If you missed it yesterday, I'll link it at the end of this one. We did an attack with all Super Wall Breakers. So, we have the Super Wall Breaker trained up. Now, to start off, we have the hybrid attack. Let's get rid of the regular Wall Breakers. And let's train up the Super Wall Breakers. I only get two? I can't. 
kind of feel like I want another one in there as well. Two is just a little bit risky for me. I want another one. So let's go ahead and drop, I think, one hog and one miner. Let's see what that does for us. So that will get us an extra one. But if we were to drop one more hog, we can get two. So that's four, four super wall breakers. I think that's the way to go. Then let's get... What am I requesting here? Do I go with the, the hogs or... Yeah, let's just go with the let's just go with the basic, the siege barracks, the hogs. If you guys missed it, the quality of life changes. You can actually request specifically the clan castle troops you want now. I didn't do that, and also check this out as well, guys. In your profile, when you come down here, look at how much better that is for the hero skins now. They're all displayed on this nice little screen. It's just amazing. The, the quality of life stuff is great, and when I taught you about the, or when I told you about my Town Hall 11 account, I farm a couple of a accounts at a time. Currently, I'm farming, well, this one, I'm nearly maxed out, my Town Hall 11 and my Town Hall 9. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see. Do you want me to show you the Let's Play of them accounts? I probably will, and I should be able to farm them a little bit quicker thanks to this update. So, thanks to uh, Zeus, we're all set. We have the hog riders in there. We just need to wait of the wall breakers. They they take a little bit of time to cook up, huh? And then we're not even in legends anymore. I need to get back to legends. I need to book my ideas up and bring you guys the let's play, the vlog style content every single day. So once the super wall breakers have decided to get themselves ready, I tell you what, guys, let's cook up the second attack. And you've seen this. I'm gonna do it. 16 wall breakers let's go with like seven healers that's what i did on the other uh on the other attacks making sure we can queen charge right through the base let's go with like four balloons how else do i do this i can't remember what i normally take i might have to check it out i might have to go back and see what i did on the dev build but let's come back when we have a base ready to attack this is why i like not being in legends league because you can find this amount of gold now it's not groundbreaking i have found 1 million loot raids before but one thing i wanted to demonstrate was the multi-target infernos the super wall breakers check this out guys let's go with the queen let's just get the super wall breaker straight in there you don't have to freeze the multi inferno anymore you can just power the queen straight in how amazing is that guys you don't have to worry about it she will go straight for the multi. Now, my Barbarian King will go after the enemy Queen here. Then let's go with another Super Wall Break. Look at it go. Look at it go. It's going to just bust the Queen straight in. That one should get us to the Town Hall, or I was hoping it would. Now that will get us to the Town Hall. Look, just look at it go. Oh my goodness. The Super Wall Breakers are amazing. They are just incredible. I, honestly, I just love them. I just love them. Look at the Queen. She is going to get that town hall and set us up beautifully for the hybrid. And I need to start thinking about what I'm going to do here. So let's go with the freeze here, the poison, baby drag. Now let's go with the hybrid in here to come in alongside my queen. We can get the royal champ down to the bottom to help out. I want to freeze the middle again because the queen is taking huge damage. She used her ability. So I'm going to put the Rage spell in there. Let's use the heal onto the Hogs as they come through. The Grand Warden's ability should be pretty good here as well, and I think we're good. Come on, guys, get yourself through. Royal Champ's ability, we can use the Wizards to help the Royal Champ. We've still got a heal spell, guys. This base is history. Look at the hybrid coming through. And that was all because of the Super Wall Breakers. I mean... <sighs> They're just so worth it. I think for a couple of them, it gets a little bit more tricky when you're breaking right into the base. But think about it. You would normally need at least three super wall breakers in order to get that wall on the outside. Maybe one to test. So that's four. There's your eight troop capacity that you have with a super. You don't have to worry about freezing a multi inferno or anything like that. The only time that they become inefficient is when you're into the base itself when normally you could use a rage spell and one wall breaker would get you through a wall but i think that's a pretty good start 32 trophies 700 000 gold meet the super troops dude you're too late <laughs> 
let me know in the comments did you get onto the game before they put out the announcement i'm gonna screenshot it anyway because I just like doing that stuff. I'd probably share them over on Instagram and things like that. If you're not following me, Judo Sloth, check it out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You can find me across there. So, I looked back at the video we did yesterday in terms of the mass Super Wall Breakers, 16 of them, remember. And this is the composition I went with. Did we use all of our troops there? No, we didn't use an archer. One archer got left over. I am sorry. So let's go ahead and use the training potion. Speed this process up. And then when we're ready, we will go ahead and we will find a base where we can use 16 super war breakers. Try and get ourselves back up to Legends League. But what I'm going to do real quick is jump onto the Town Hall 11 so I can show you it. So I can purchase some of them packs. And at least you can get a gauge as to how that account is at the moment. Because I will be probably bringing you gameplay from it moving forward. So this is my Sloth account. I brought you guys a Rush to Max series about a year ago, and it kind of fell on its head. But I've been continuing to farm this account a little bit, more so just within the last couple of months. And guys, I did not even see this. The waterfall is back. Oh my goodness! I did not even see that within the dev build. How many... Did you guys see that in my previous videos? I did not. I had no clue. They brought it back! After long, long times, the waterfall is back. If any of you played the game when it first came out, I'm talking seven years ago, there was a waterfall just like that and they took it away because it was using, I believe the reason they took it away was because it was actually using too much power, but they've brought it back. I didn't even see that until right now. Oh my goodness, guys. You got to leave a thumbs up for that because I'm pretty hyped. Whilst the 16 Super War Breakers are cooking up, let's see what we've got on this account. Now... I do have nearly maxed out gold and I was on my account here last night. I was, you know, doing a couple of farming attacks because I am well behind in the season challenges and I was going to upgrade my wizard tower, but it was 9.6 million gold last night before the update and I figured sneak peeks are finished historically the update generally comes a few days after sneak peeks have finished. I'm going to wait. Because one of the updates, one of the things, was to lower all of the costs for Town Hall 9, 10, and 11. And now look, 7.8. That's pretty epic. Let's go ahead and upgrade that to start us off. I think my queen will be... 9... That was... That was 134,000 Dark Elixir last night. Wow. Wow. Incredible. Do we have a hero port? We do. Okay. Let's not mess around, guys. Let's not mess around. Let's get that queen upgrading. Let's use the hero portion. Now we have... Now we have... Ooh, the king's only 55, look. What do we have in here? <laughs> 500,000 for the spring special. I am going to be purchasing that. I Honestly, I think I'm going to buy all of this. I think I'm going to buy all of this. Do you want a separate video on this? I, I think we should. I don't think it's worthwhile buying all of these right now when the video is more focused on the Super War Break. So I think tomorrow I might bring you a video, uh, you know, kicking off, kicking off this series again, if you will. I know I did it a year ago, but... You know, bringing you the Rush to Town Hall 11, mass purchasing, mass upgrading... I think that's going to be it. But but this is the account anyways, guys. And yeah, that's what we need to do. We need to enter code judo before I forget as well. So down in the settings, more settings, code judo. Let's go, guys. Let's see how them 16 wall breakers are getting on on my main account. Nearly 800,000 loot. Okay. I got to I got to be honest with you guys as well. I am loving this update. I know we have the super troops. We've also got so much to upgrade. We've got to get the Valkyries to level 8. That's got to be a video in the next day or two. Are they worth it? Now the town hall is right to the opposite side of the base. <laughs> 
Unfortunately, we know there's a Tesla farm there, but we're not going to have to deal with it. I think because of the super wall breaks, we've got our attack from the opposite side, guys. There's no way about it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So let's get the baby dragon here, a couple of loons, and then the healers onto the queen. Let's get the Grand Warden in there with the Queen as well. And this is pretty good. This has got us the funnel all set. Look at that one super wall break. Come on, buddy. Oh, they are incredible. They are just amazing. That baby dragon needs to get our funnel set. And it does. We are now into the center. Let's go. Why does that super wall break want to go there? Like, what? I guess we can send the king down in this area with the royal champ to try and help out because we don't want the wall breakers. Oh, we do want them going to the middle. Look at that. Yes, my friends. Uh, let's go with the battle blimp probably to this area. Can rage the queen now because she's taking a lot of damage. Can rage the yeti bomb over here. Royal champ's ability. Yeti's coming out. Right, now what we need is a couple of wizards down here. All of the wall breakers coming in. Wall breaks, go to the... No, 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 no. Go to the middle of the base. What are you doing? Of course I don't want you there. Yes, we've got one that maybe doesn't have sense. Where is he going? Come to the middle of the base. Oh, here they come. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We've missed all of... Oh, they opened it up. Yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Let's get a wall break in from this side. Try and get our queen out. We're going to have to press that ability as well. We've got to get through the single target infernos. Let's use the earthquake. Try and help out. Queen, come on. Let's get the town hall. Oh, the single has stayed alive. Are you joking me? Are you joking me? Let's rage. Come on, queen. Get yourself to the town. Oh no, she's gone down. That could be history. The grand warden is out of range. Let's get a wizard onto that, because if we can get the cannon, nope, we'd have been able to clear the top. Woo! That was pretty crazy, guys. <laughs> I can't stop laughing at the super wall breakers. They are just too fun. I mean, if I hadn't have just spammed them at this side, I, I might have been able to do a bit better. But they did get all of the way across there, and they actually opened up from one side of the base to the next. And given that I had, like, no troops, if this single target Inferno had have gone down, I think we might have got this, you know? We might have got it. As well with that wizard, I should have known, guys, that the wizard wouldn't have got the cannon, and I should have just put it at the top. The wizard could have cleared all of that as well. Oh, we would have... Are you joking? If I had have put the wizard up there, we would have actually got this, because the Grand Warden has gone to the cannon. What a scrub! <laughs> Oh, 93%. At least we got most of the loot. That one wizard was poorly placed. But you can see just how strong it is by using 16 wall breakers. I think we've got to bring you this again. Let's go back to base. Let's see where we're at. And let's cook this up. I just love it when Clash give us the four times star bonus. Look at that. Three million loot. Yes, please. How much was already in there? I don't know. I might not have got all of that. Ugh, we can only do one more attack as well. Because if I do two, there's a chance I might get that four star bonus again. And I don't want to. And what I think... I want to bring you guys a separate episode as well, but I think for the next one that we bring, there's so many different stuff, isn't there? I want you to bring, I want to show you the gameplay from the dev build of all of the super troops in one attack. I want to try and compare them. I want to upgrade the Valkyrie to level eight. That's got to be one of the episodes coming up. I want to show you that Town Hall 11 account and how we mass spending spree. So there's a lot coming up, guys. Like I said, be sure to subscribe. I don't think for the minute I am going to upgrade upgrade anything but we're pretty much ready to go in 40 seconds time i will re-request get the troops and we will do one more to finish off the episode so this was the first base we found and it has 500,000 gold and elixir i don't know if i want to pass this up have you ever passed a base and then spent the next 
10 minutes searching for one with the same amount of loot that you already passed up. I've done it a bunch of times. I don't want that to happen again. Plus, I, I kind of want to charge this bottom area. I just, I don't know why. I just have this sense to do it. So, Super Wall Breaker, irrespective of the king being there, I don't care. He's going to go down. He is going to go down. The queen should be able to deal with that. I don't necessarily want to use a rage. Nah, we don't need to. We don't need to. We can get another super wall breaker in there, though. That should get us right into the center. Hopefully, the queen doesn't walk here. Come on, queen. Path is created now. You can go to the center. She doesn't want to. She does not want to. So let's get a rage spell in. We've used another super wall breaker to try and push her into the middle. Let's get the royal champ down here. I think the king and probably... Wall breaker or two. Let's freeze this area to help our queen out. And this looks pretty good. Where are the wall breakers wanting to go? Cross to that side. Let's try and get another few in here and hope they redirect. Let's freeze this area. Let's rage the queen again. Let's use the Grand Warden's ability as the wall breakers are coming through. King's ability. Royal Champ's ability. Let's use the Battle Blimp from the opposite side. Everything going crazy at the moment. Let's be honest with it. Let's rage as the yetis come forward now. They will help to take the single out, which is pretty good to help our queen. Did lose a healer to the black bomb. The yetis do a good job in the middle there, guys, don't they? Let's use the wizards on the outside. Now we need to be a bit more sparing because we've basically run out. If I'd have saved one or two wall breakers... They can actually be pretty good on the back end of the base. We found that out in the episode, didn't we? Where I did this on the dev build and we just used all wall breakers. Because if you can save one or two, we know how good they are on the outside of that base. And the queen, she might be drawn around the outside here. We don't want her to be. Yes, she has done the smart play. Well done, queen. She stayed on the inside, but this is where like one wall breaker would be really helpful, or, or maybe two, just to get her on the inside towards that, uh, that multi-inferno. Now, I'd like the wizard to stay alive, but uh, the cannon has indeed took it down. Come on, queen. Let's rage now, because she is going to get in contact with the enemy queen in a second. And I want to save the freeze spell for... There's a few other defenses here, look. You know what? I think we're good in terms of damage. It's purely a matter of time. We just don't have time. Let's try and save the Grand Warden. That might help out, but uh, uh, there's a Builder Hut in the top as well, guys. Anyways, I mean, 16 Wall Breakers, it's not meant to be... Uh, super OP three-star strategy. I I'm going to put it as a bit of a mission this week in order to do that. Yes, we've unlocked the Super Wall Breakers, but there's a lot to show you. We've got the new Valkyries. I want to upgrade everything on that Town Hall 11. We've got... I still had the Queen's ability. <laughs> so all kinds of errors today, guys. But I hope you enjoyed this first video of the update. Lots more to come, so be sure to subscribe. Be sure to turn on the notification bell if you missed the video where we did all mass super wall breakers. I'm going to link it right here for you because I think you'd enjoy that. Go ahead and watch that one. But if not, I will see you here on the channel for lots more videos coming up. Be sure to be ready. Stay home. Stay safe and have a good one.